A tooth consists of a crown, a neck and a root. There is a pulp cavity in the center of the tooth. It's filled with loose connective tissue containing numerous fibroblasts, thin collagen fibers, blood vessels and nerve fibers. These fibers are afferent nerve endings type A delta, which conduct exclusively pain signals. Even a change in temperature or pH is perceived as pain. Ouch. Above the pulp, there is a layer of cells called odontoblasts, organized in epithelioid fashion. This means that they resemble epithelium at first glance, but they are of mesenchymal origin. They produce collagen, glycosaminoglycans, and other organic compounds of dentin, which is a calcified bone-like matrix. It contains a large amount of hydroxyapatite crystals, ensuring its hardness, which is higher than bone. Dentin doesn't contain any cells, only channels called dentinal tubules, which can be seen in a light microscopy. Non-mineralized dentin is called pre-dentin. We can appreciate it as a brighter layer in the close proximity of odontoblasts. There are cytoplasmic projections called Thomas fibers on apical surfaces of odontoblasts. They protrude into dentinal channels, produce dentinal substance and mineralize it. Apart from Thomas fibers, dentinal tubules also contain glycosaminoglycans and nerve fibers protruding from the pulp. Nerve fibers branch at the periphery of dentin. Above the dentin, in the region of tooth crown, there is an enamel. It's the hardest tissue in the human body and consists mostly of calcium salt, especially hydroxyapatite. In the picture, you can only see remnants of the enamel because a large part of it was dissolved during the preparation of the slide. Organic matter of the enamel is produced by emaloblasts which are present only during tooth development. They cannot be found in a fully grown tooth, and we will demonstrate them in another video, which will refer to a tooth development. Matrix of the enamel doesn't contain collagen. There are glycoproteins called amelogenin, ameloblastins, enamelins and tuftalins. Ameloblastins ensure deposition of hydroxyapatite crystals, forming irregular cuboidal structures called prisms. They can be seen in electron microscopy and in case of non-decalcified samples also in light microscopy. Durability of D enamel can be increased by exchange of hydroxyl groups for fluoride groups. That's the reason for fluoridation. Dental caries is the breakdown of enamel and dentin due to acids made by bacteria which inhabit oral cavities, exacerbated by eating sweets. So brush your teeth properly. In the region of tooth neck and root, dentin is covered by a substance called tooth cement. It's a tissue resembling a bone. In thicker areas, it contains cementocytes, which are very similar to osteocytes. In the picture, we can only see empty lacunes where cementocytes used to be. Cementoblasts are cells producing cement, and they can be found on its external surface. Unfortunately, we cannot see them in our slide. They are subsequently embedded in the cement substance and transform into cementocytes. Close to the border between cement and dentin, there is a layer of non-calcified older dentin, called Tom's granular layer. A space between a tooth and its bony bed is filled with priodontium. There are collagen fibers called Sharpe's fibers which penetrate into the cement and tie the tooth to dental alveolus. Such bond is elastic 
and enables limited movement of the tooth.